morning, rubbing the cheviots and the day we're going to do one I've done before by myself. We're going to go up to the summit of Windy Gyle. So just park the car down there. Got my sister and got the pooch. So we're going to head up there. Pretty much a straight road really for a couple of miles. We veer off to the left up to the summit. Get what foot we're taking up there. Then you come back round and back down again. It's sort of like a love heart shape, I suppose you could call it. Triangle, maybe. So, yeah, about five degrees in December. So it's a bit nippy, but uh, we'll see. No doubt we'll come across a little patch of snow, too. So, keep watching. And uh, as always, we'll get some video and some photos. Just see a bit of damage caused by Storm Arwen last weekend. That sheep stuck in that little bit of woodland. There's all these mates over there, they're probably wondering where he is. Now yeah, I've even put the, his little thermal jacket on the dog today. It's been a little bit colder. So, make it that little bit more enjoyable for him. First glimpse of some snow up there on the hill. We can get a snowball fight. See, I'm using the road mic today. Part of my setup because it is quite breezy. So we'll see how the video turns out with that on. See if it makes much of a difference. Should do. Another little bit of woodland, look at the devastation off this storm, look at that. What a shame. I don't know if they'll be um, taken away for timber or whether they're too young. But that's nature for you. So we're just heading down to a place called Murder Clue or Murder Cloth. I think that's how you pronounce it. C-L-E-U-G-H. I think that's a gravestone or something where it is. So we'll go down there and see if we can find a bit of history about it. And uh, if we can, we'll put in the description below. Right. Just seen a farm on a quad bike, apart from that, I haven't seen anyone else today yet. It's not bad, the weather. Right guys, so where just where my thumb is there. So that path would have brought me through these woods. Where as you can see it's uh do the storm damage the path shut. So we've just come up round that bottom corner, that 90 degree corner of the woods, come round here, met up with the footpath again. And now we're just going to head up northeast, up the hill to Windy Gyle. Certainly, you just got to alter your path a little bit, but just make sure you know where you're going. Check in again, which we're just doing now. Right, guys, we're just cutting over this marshland now. We're going to just go up the valley a little bit and then up onto the top to Windy Gyle. So, just about there where me thumb is. I've been last time I came up with the guy that came up this path here. So we're gonna meet up with that. And can you just see that there? Focus, sorry. This is Windy Guile. On the map. And then up and over the top of that. A little bit of snow. I thought there would have been more up here, like than what there is, but never mind. Hey! Hey! Come here! Stay where I can see you, please. It's a bit breezy, but you can probably tell I've got the wind muff on. 
Um, it's only about 10 miles an hour winds down at Alberton, so a bit, bit more blustery up on the top, but we're dressed for the occasion. Cars parked down there to the south, over the other side of them trees, and a bit further than that. At least we know where we are, which is always a good thing, which is quite rare for me to be honest. I only do wander a little bit. See how we're just going to come down, meet up that path, and then walk up towards that tree line. Turn left, slow descent up onto the top of Windy Gale and uh, Border Ridge. See Scotland. It's not a bad day for visibility, so we might get some nice views from the top. But people who come up here know how quick that can change. So we'll see. I won't speak too soon. Come all this way for a bit of snow for you. Yeah? Right guys, we've just come up that hill there and we found the Pennine Way path so that way else you go off to the Cheviot, Hedgehope here's the Border Ridge fence line and we're just going to go up here just up on the top there to the right and find Windy Gyle bit icy on these stones today. It's nice finding them though instead of trouncing through the marsh and grass. You know you can walk a lot faster on these but this time of year you gotta be careful. Yeah. A bit breezy as you can probably imagine being up on the top of a high hill, not quite a mountain. But uh Still getting the views in the day, which is good. Tell me, sister, I wanted. Get some nice photographs. Um, as you know, I've done this one before. Rachel's done the TV and head show with his now. Windy guy out today. And then I think Blood, blood, blood Bush is the next one. I think that's the fourth highest. So that'll be next on the to do list. See how many we can get done. I suppose it can only get easier over time because they get smaller. But who knows? They might be harder. Actually, harder to get to, if you know what I mean. It's looking over into Scotland. Such likes. Perfect day for hiking, really. Got to see how this video ends up with this road mic muffler on it. 
see if it's much better up here. Like if you wash. So this is with it on. And that's with it off. So was there much difference there? Softening the wind down? I hope so. That's what its job is. That's what I got it for. So it'll be interesting to watch. See if there is. Right. Onwards and upwards. Here we are. Virtually on the top. And there she is. The trig point of Windy Guile. Get over there, tap out, and head back down to the lovely toasty warm car and back to the lovely toasty warm house where there's pipe and hot water coming out of that tap to fill that bath up. <laughs> That's where we rode and maybe a couple of bottles of the MRI. Oh. Oh. Oh Rachel, you can't use your metal detector. Right, celebrations. Good drink. Oh. How's that for a view? So that must be looking sort of northwesterly, do you think? Yeah? Up Scotland way. Fantastic. We thought we were going to get a little bit of bad weather before there was a little bit of sleet came in, but it cleared up in no time. I can't really see this way because I'm stuck behind this hill. It's beautiful up here. You know, I know people rave on about the Lake District and the Peak District and all that, and the hills of Shropshire. I'll tell you what, though, Northumberland's got its own place, hasn't it? You know, it's, I think it's, uh, it gets forgotten about with being that way that much up north. You know, some of us think North Manchester. Um, yeah, look at this. No, not that I'm complaining, like. Got the place to ourselves. There's the sun just over there trying to break through the clouds. Watch that bar by It's funny because when you do a walk, I think it was probably this time last year, I did the last one, maybe, might be even longer. And you remember certain little bits? Yeah, little flashbacks in here. Oh yeah, I remember that bit. I remember that fence, I remember that bridge. Yeah. So I think last time it was about seven miles we did. So 
should be a bit longer this time. I took a, a little diversion up past Mirror Clue. Maybe add an extra mile on or two. Well, let's have a look when we get back. It seems to be a bit better this path, this side of uh, Windy Gale. A bit more of a path. So, yeah. Wish I continue on. Right, so just come up there, up around the back of there, up, 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 around the back of Windy Gale, over here, and down here, to here. Oh, I think this is the last hill we've just come up. I think it's all downhill to the valley now, where the car is, which is this way. Down there, a couple more miles. Right, back again. We've just got about the last mile to do. We've actually followed a path called this street, pretty much all the way from Windy Gile. It does sort of go missing in places. I think just with people not being out, treading the grass. So you've just got to keep checking the map, get your bearings. It is easy to get lost up here when it's just grass after grass after grass. But yeah, the sun's just setting over there, over the top of the hill. So, yeah, just basically, got to walk down there, down in that little valley, and that's where the car is. So, we're nearly there, and we must get in the way. Sounds a bit weird that, doesn't it? <laughs> Me muffs getting in the way. Right. So that's where we started. And we walked up there, down side the trees, past that house. So you'll see it on the, on the relive video, the path we took. So, tired now, like. I think we've walked two seconds, I think nice watchers. 8.8 miles. Been good though. But uh, ready for home. Work my calves, work my hips. <laughs> I've been warm though, wrapped up warm. Cracking jack of this. Yeah. My spray away, goat X. I just wore that over me fleece. It's worth a treat. This gives us that little bit of extra protection over the rab. And, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'm going to do a probably a winter day kit. Um, probably just after Christmas. Because there's a few little additions I'm hoping to add on. And then I'll show you what I wear, what I take for a day hike on the hills in the forest type of thing, and why? And then you can, you know, you can always improve, get lighter, get better quality, or just sometimes you just think, actually, you know, give them a go. You know, and there's somebody could wear walking trainers instead of walking boots, things like that. Um, different coat, like today I've got my spray on, normally wear my rab, but uh, you know, different cooking systems. All the rest of it. But yeah, we'll do that probably in the new year. When I've got uh, my new little bits and bobs off Santa. Hopefully, if I've been good. Uh, hope he's watching. And uh, yeah, get down this hill and get the car and get the heater on. There we go. Can you see that little white dot down there? You know, that is, don't you? That's salvation. That's the car. So, 
でも、ね、ありで。So, have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah? あ、oh, あ、no. yes. so、walked over a piece of ice and slipped and fell on a bone and hit her shoulder. But she got up like a trooper and carried on.、Oh, big black and blue bruise, no doubt, tomorrow. There we go. Back to where we started. The red flag's up, so we're not going through there anyway. Look, uh, yep,、yeah. been along up the Windy Gyle, Border Ridge, and then down what's called the street, about the car. Very good. So, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. And who knows where the next one will be? Not even me, not yet. <laughs> See you later.